Hello and welcome to a new video for AZ104 preparation. This is episode number 18. Question number 181. You are planning the deployment of two Azure virtual machines for a short project. You need to allow your IT technician assistance. The ability to only start and stop virtual machines related to the project. Which solution represents the least amount of administrative effort? And the options are A. Create multiple Azure subscription. Deploy each VM into its own subscription. B. Assign the role to the entire Azure subscription. C. As each new VM is created, assign a role. D. Deploy VMs to one resource group. Assign the role to the resource group. Now, for the options A. Create multiple Azure subscription, deploy each VM into its own subscription is incorrect because multiple subscriptions, one for each VM will require more administrative effort. So this is not a good option. So now moving to the next one that is B, assign the role to the entire Azure subscription. It is also incorrect because it will enforce this rule on all resources created under subscription, which is not the purpose as we need additional control on VMs only. Option C, as each new VM is created, assign a role. This is also incorrect because resource label role assignment is not a good solution as this will require greater administrative effort every time a new VM is created. So the options left is D. Deploy VMs to one resource group. Assign the role to the resource group. And this is correct. So this is the best solution from the provided option because deploying VMs to one resource group and assigning roles to that resource group will only impact VMs on which additional control is needed. And also only need to maintain role at the resource group level. This solution will decrease the administrative efforts. Question number 182. Which of the following is an optimized storage services for storing massive amount of unstructured data such as videos and images? Select the correct option and the options are A. Tables B. Queues C. Blobs D. Files Option A is incorrect as Azure table storage stores large amount of structured and non-relational data. Queues. Queues is also not correct as Azure queue service is used to store and retrieve millions of messages. Queues are generally used to store list of messages to be processed asynchronously. Azure queue is the simplest way to implement a decoupled solution. Now D, files. Files is also incorrect as Azure files enables you to set up high available network file shares that can be accessed using the standard server message block protocol. That means that multiple VMs can share the same files with both read and write access. So the correct answer is blob. So Azure Blob Storage is Microsoft's object storage solution for the cloud. Optimized for storing massive amounts of unstructured data such as text, video, images or other binary data. Blob Storage is ideal for serving images or documents directly to a browser, storing files for distributed access, streaming video and audio, storing data for backup and restore disaster recovery and archiving, storing data for analysis by an on-premises or Azure hosted services. So the correct answer is blobs. Question number 183. Which of the following services enables you to store passwords and secrets in Azure so you can centrally manage them from your services and application? Select the correct options. And the options are A. Azure Security Center B. Microsoft Defender for Identity C. Azure Key Vault and D. Azure Information Protection 
so the correct answer is azure key vault azure key vault is a centralized cloud service for storing your application passwords and secrets by keeping them in a single central location and by providing secure access permission control and access logging capabilities now other options are not correct as azure security center azure security center is a monitoring service that provides threat protection across all your services both in azure and on premises it's not used for password or secrets management now microsoft defender for identity is also incorrect as it is a cloud based security solution that identifies detects and helps you investigate advanced threats compromised identities and malicious insider actions directed at your organization it's not used for password or secrets management now the last option azure information protection is also incorrect as it is a cloud based solution that helps organizations classifies and protects its document and emails by applying labels question number 184 drag the appropriate term from the column on the left to its description on the right so we have on the left availability sets availability zones regions and geographies and on the rights the information is given and you have to match the correct term availability sets ensures your applications remains online if a high impact maintenance event is required or if a hardware failure occurs now for availability zones are physically separated locations with their own power cooling and networking and for reason is a geographical area on the planet containing at least one but potentially multiple data centers geographies typically containing two or more regions that preserves data residency and compliance boundary for azure resources like exam questions for pdfs and the practice sets you can refer our official websites i will give you the link in the comment or in the description sections you can refer that thing question number 185 your company is planning to request an architectural review of an azure environment from microsoft the company currently has a basic support plan which support plan should you recommend and the options are a developer b premier c professional direct d standard so the correct answer is professional direct question number 186 Which of the following cloud services provides development collaboration tools including high performance pipelines free private git repositories and configurable kanban boards and the options are a azure dev test labs b azure devops services c azure hd insight d azure event grid so the correct answer is azure devops services azure devops services provides development collaboration tools including high performance pipelines private git repositories configurable kanban boards and extensive automated and cloud based load testings now other options are incorrect as for azure dev test labs azure dev test labs provides self service cloud environments for demo or training purposes to speed up the development process one of the primary scenario involves using dev test labs to host development machines for developers azure hd insight is an open source analytics service for enterprises to process massive amount of data hd insights allows you to run popular frameworks such as apache spark apache hadoop and apache kafka and the last option that is azure event grid is also incorrect as it allows you to easily build application with event based architecture question number 187 
which of the most efficient way for the testing team to save cost on virtual machines on weekends when testers are not at work and the options are a delete the virtual machines before the weekend and create a new set of the following week b just let everything run azure bills you only for the cpu time that you use c deallocate virtual machines when they are not in use so the correct answer is c deallocate the virtual machines when they are not in use the best way to save cost is to deallocate the virtual machines when they are not in use when you deallocate virtual machines the associated hard disks and data are still kept in azure but you don't pay for cpu or network consumptions which can help save cost now for the other options that is delete the virtual machines before the weekends and create a new set of the following week is incorrect as it's not an efficient solution as you can delete your virtual machines when they are not in use you also lose any associated hard disk it can take some time to recreate the environment at the start of each week now for the last option that is just left everything run so azure bills you only for the cpu time that you use is incorrect users meters track not only cpu time but also network traffic and the number of disk operation so you will keep paying for the weekend without using resources question number 188 your company host a billing application that is used by all customers of the company this application has low uses during the first 3 weeks of each month and very high uses during the last week of each month which benefit of azure cloud services supports cost management for this type of uses pattern and the options are a fault tolerance b economies of scale c high availability d elasticity so the correct answer is elasticity elasticity is the ability to automatically or dynamically increase or decrease resources as needed elastic resource match the current needs and resources are added or removed automatically to meet future needs when it's needed now options economies of scale is incorrect economies of scale is the ability to reduce cost and gain efficiency when operating at a larger scale in comparison to operating at a smaller scale cloud providers such as microsoft google and amazon are large businesses and are able to leverage the benefits of economies of scale and then pass those benefits on to their customers now the next option fault tolerance is incorrect fault tolerance is the ability to remain up and running even in the event of component no longer functioning typically redundancy is built into cloud services architecture so if one component fails a backup component takes its place which requires you to invest extra cost now the last option that is high availability is incorrect as it is the ability to keep services up and running for long periods of time with very little downtime workloads are typically spread across different virtual machines to gain high throughput performance and to create redundancy in case a service is impacted due to an update or other event question number 189 select two correct statements for azure subscription and the options are a virtual machines can be moved to the new subscription only if they are all in the same resource group b trial subscriptions can be converted to paid c virtual machines can be moved to the new subscription d an azure resource group contains multiple azure subscription e multiple subscription cannot be created within an azure account so the two correct statements for azure subscription is b trial subscription can be converted to paid and virtual machines can be moved to the new subscription
now the other statements are not true as virtual machines can be moved to the new subscription only if they are all in the same resource group while it is generally easier to move resources within the same resource group it's not strict necessary you can move individual resources or groups of resources across different resource groups within the same subscription or to a different subscription next options an azure resource group contains multiple azure subscription this is also incorrect an azure resource group is a logical container for related azure resources such as virtual machines storage accounts and network interfaces it does not contain multiple subscription now the last option that is multiple subscription cannot be created within an azure account it is also incorrect as you can create multiple subscriptions within a single azure account this can be useful for managing resources for different teams departments or projects question number 190 your company has a team of remote workers that need to use windows based software to develop your company's application but your team members are using various operating systems like mac os linux and windows which azure compute service would help resolve this scenarios and the options are a azure container instances b windows virtual desktop c azure kubernetes d azure app service so the correct answer is windows virtual desktop windows virtual desktop enables your team members to run windows in the cloud with access to the required application for your company's needs windows virtual desktops works across devices like windows mac ios android and linux It works with apps that you can use to access remote desktop and apps. You can also use most modern browsers to access Windows virtual desktops hosted experiences. Now the other options are not correct as Azure App Service, Azure Container Instances and Azure Kubernetes are code deployment and environment management solution and do not provide the capability to team members to log in to virtual machines which run on windows